Hey guys, how you doing? Soraya, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is July. What can we expect for the rest of July? I feel some channeling coming on, so I'm just going to kind of stay in this trance mode and rock the singing bowl. We can chit chat after if we need to. Spirit, can you show me the rest of June? Any messages that need to come through for the collective, for our viewers, for our path and purpose, healing, bringing more light, prosperity. The sun is changing. I see the sun very clearly. We're all activating very rapidly. It's beautiful. Yes, there's a lot of chaos, but where there's poison, there's a remedy. I see the helmet of salvation. So there again, it's a... Uh, putting on the forearm of God, I still do that prayer twice a day in my meditative state. It really helps guard us from the destruction that's going on around us. Things are being revealed to us. Truth is being revealed to us, yes. But the dark forces are also trying to find new ways to in integrate their chaos into... Our ascension, distractions, toxinities, poisonous things that we're watching, unhealthy foods. A lot of processed foods aren't, ha aren't very good at all. Some people are still going through some breakups. Makeups, breakups, endings, beginnings. We're still coming out of Mercury. We're still coming out of a few retrograding planets. So we're learning to connect and go with the flow. A lot of us also have the opportunity to bring ourselves into full alignment. We're not quite out of the rabbit hole yet. We still have the opportunity for growth. I see somebody coming into alignment or people, somebody, whatever, but they're showing me like the solar plexus chakra and they're bringing the light in and they're dispersing any darkness out through that chakra. To do that, we open our crown chakra, we open our third eye chakra, we open our throat chakra, and our heart, down to our solar plexus, we're going to open them all, down to our sacral chakra, root chakra, ground chakra, we're going to pull this energy down through these chakras, we ask for light to fill our vessels, light to fill our these chakras and disperse any darkness any negativity any blocks within these chakras and you literally pull the energy down through you
we ask to activate our chakras and come into a full alignment within our bodies and within the structures around us. We ask to bring in as much light as possible for our vessels to ground this light out into the earth. We ask to re remove, release any blocks within our body structures, within our chakras, within our blueprints. We ask to be released from any karmic debts. We ask to open our chakras completely and totally and drown them in light. May they be filled with so much light in our vessel that nothing else is left. All right, guys, hear them distractions? Usually the chickens never sit right there. We ask to remove distractions from our life. Let us be able to see clearly, move forward clearly to our highest timeline and our highest good. And our soul's path, purpose, and mission. I feel really good. I'm seeing the death card very clearly, so a lot of transformations going on. To help with transformation, you can ask to release things from your body's structure. Doing so is sitting in a meditative state and calling in your guides and angels. I ask for your guides and angels to help me be with me. Help me release such and such from my energetic code, from my blueprint, from my body and all my timelines. Whether it be family trauma, stress, addiction, blocks. I am strong and moving forward in my life. I'm releasing what no longer serves my highest good and highest purpose. I'm bringing my purpose and knowledge of that purpose into my life, into my timeline. I am releasing any lower densities and lower timelines that's keeping me from my path and purpose. I am releasing any blocks within my structure. I am activating my DNA to the highest light possible. Some people are still having a really hard time with the transformations going on. Remember to stay grounded. Remember to pray. Ask the angels for help. They're always there with you. Somebody's going through a rainbow activation. That's beautiful. Good for you. No, that spirit sees how hard you've been working and and pushing towards it won't help. We're in a lot of feminine energy right now. Remember to be pulling it towards you, but don't block it either. Sometimes when we want something so bad, we block it. So just go with the flow. I got goosebumps. So that's, you're blocking it. Don't block it. Just go with the flow. It'll come to you when it's time, when it's ready. Know that wherever you are in your life, wherever in your spiritual practice and time frame, that's where you need to be right now. If it's not going as fast as you want to, that's because Spirit's trying to teach you to be patient. Spirit's trying to teach you to go with the flow. To be in the moment. To love what you have, where you are, what you're doing. Calm and breathe. Just know that them good things are coming for you. It's beautiful. There's a splitting going on within the earth from lower and higher frequencies and timelines and, and jumps. We are going into the, on the Schumann residence, all the light that's coming into the earth right now. It is bringing us up to that 5G or 5D, but... Some people's body structures are not made for that light yet. 
they're really like pushing on that they're poking at so your body isn't made for that much light yet detoxify meditate bring in that light ask the sun to fill you with that light as much as your vessel can handle at that time they're going through some serious um shifts within their body some i almost said codes so they're activating know that your body can only handle so much don't push don't pull just be i see like a alpha symbol and I saw the Pi symbol before I started. And I know in Hindu, Hindu, not Hindu, in the Jewish, that symbol has a specific meaning. It's like the Alpha and Omega symbols for some reason. So definitely activating somebody, another message for somebody. They're releasing the darkness within themselves. You can demand that out, push that out. There again, you're bringing in more light. I ask the light, the sun to fill my vessel, to relieve, remove, and push out any darkness within myself. I demand it to be gone. We all have demons within us. We made a pact long ago that we would coincide together. We have to demand it to leave. So if somebody's struggling with addiction, if somebody's struggling with um, negativity, darkness, demand the darkness within you to leave. Demand it to be gone. It's like doing a mini exorcism within, your, within yourself. When, when you think it's almost gone, keep pushing. Somebody has uh, a very Celtic... I see the Celtic cross. And there's ancestors here with me. There's a healing that's going to take place. There's some goosebumps again. There's a healing that's going to take place for somebody. She's very beautiful. Blonde hair. Um, little curls at the end. She's got a shaman's drum. She's very light being. I've seen her before with some of the people that I've worked with. But know that she's here and helping you. She's a very beautiful vibration. She wants you to know that... They are always with you and helping you connect with your ancestors. There's a shamanism going on there. There is a connection that's taking place there, a release that's coming from your ancestors. I see the Kashuk records and I see like a dark purple color and it's like a light going through you and it is beautiful. Beautiful. She says it's time to release what no longer serves you. You've been there helping you, pushing you, and pulling you, and you've kind of been stubborn. I see like a honeycomb fish symbol, which is weird, whatever that means to you. Bring the light within you. Your time has come. At least what no longer serves your highest good and highest purpose. Your path is right in front of you. All you have to do is step upon it. You've been questioning... Um, what you're supposed to be or what your path and purpose is you already know what it is you're holding it within your heart you've already been activating towards it you've already been studying it you've already been working towards it it's beautiful i see crystals i hear shamanism but shamanism is such a broad term now there is so much makuda see distractions don't knock that nowhere okay the cat sorry there he goes makuda Makuda, go on, get, go, get, down. Sorry guys, there's some distractions. Sorry. Uh. 
a heart activation is taking place. A heavy heart. Heavy. You got rocks in your heart. Whoever that message is for, it's... There is some eyes. This must be for a different message. There's some eyes looking at you very strongly. Super heavy heart. Somebody needs to release within themselves the darkness that's been haunting them for generations. Very strong message. Within you is the light you need, but also the darkness you need to amplify the light. Very white demon-like eyes, which is weird. It's... it's using somebody's energy there is a turning in my gut you can demand it gone but somebody likes the energy that it gives them it goes back and forth that's that's your call no that spirit sees it they're there to help. I see a triangle very clearly, a line along the top. Three lines coming out of the bottom corners, like a firm pushing, like a shield. There's that death card again. You have to choose to go through the transformation. You have to demand the other things out and call in the light within yourself. That is on you. There's an aching that's taking place there and a it's suffocation that's taking place there. A lot of pain from your past. Maybe a death of a child. Maybe the a death of somebody or something. Within yourself, you hold the key for great victory. Bring about the innocence you once had and share it with the world. You've been blocking something out. Somebody's been blocking something out. Like a shield around them off to the left. You're blocking out the good as well. Stand firm. Stand strong. Stay grounded. Why do I feel there is a, a yuck within my stomach, within my vessel? I'm picking up on somebody, something. Oh, I see a diamond shape above them. I don't know if it's their symbol or what. Maybe it's an activation symbol light language. I get that a lot. It's got spirals on each side. It's beautiful. There's still a yuck within you, a, a toxinity, a buildup, maybe it's, it almost feels rather disgusting. It could be an entity, but I think it's somebody around you that is causing you to feel this way. Know that if you're feeling that way, your soul is telling you that is not a good connection, friendship, partnership, whatever it is. Your soul has been communicating with you very, very frankly. 
it's time to release. It's something karmic that you have to release. You've been holding on to it for a long time. Somebody from your past, it's time to release it. It's not good for you. Take that off. That was, was kind of gross. Whoever that person is is not good. Not good. Okay. Thank you. I hear ancestors. They're coming forward to release yourself from ancestral karma. You must see, face, and acknowledge it. We go through certain certain things in our life to release our ancestors, release us from our ancestral karma. It's it's a dual thing. Once you're released, they're released. Then they can cross the rainbow bridge in a sense. They're always here. They're always with us. But that energy, that lesson, that, that karma can cross the rainbow bridge. An essence of them. There's somebody that has been holding on like rocks. And it's heavy, and it's sad, and it's painful, and they're refusing to let it go. It's something from your ancestral line. It's a depression. It's a sickness. It's a something. It could even be an 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 an, an sorry entity. Justice will be granted, I hear. To flow, you must release. I see a very Odin symbol now. That's beautiful. Somebody must have some very... That's beautiful. Hello, family. Hello, ancestral family. So this is a strengthening that's going to take place within your vessel. It's something that you've been holding on to that you know you have to let go of. You just don't know how. It could be an entity. It could be a habit. It could be something within you. But it's heavy like rocks and it's weighing you down very deeply. Your ancestors are here with you. A very, very warrior energy. When you release this, there's some goosebumps. It will release a lot in your family line. A lot. Help them see, feel, and understand what this is that needs to be released. May their vessel be open to communicate with their ancestors to see, feel, and understand the communication of the ancestors, the land around them, their journey and path and purpose. I see a very strong energy. Very There's like a grayness, so there's an activation that's going to take place once you release this. But your path is very strong. I love the Odin. And, oh, oh, I love his energy. It's amazing. Very strong, abrupt, fierce. Mm. Hello. I see. Oh, yeah. Interesting symbol. I should have brought my notebook out. There again, with the you, you hold the key. Hello, brother. If you need to stomp it out of your vessel, then you need to do so. I see it very strongly, stomping it out. Call within you the warrior energy. Call within you that strength, the fierceness, the light, the dark, the balance. I see the wheel very clearly. This is going to help complete those old cycles, release from the old to step into the new. Holy 
And, uh, Rataya. 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 Is there anything we need to watch out for, be aware of? A stutter, a lump in your throat, maybe a clogged throat chakra. You, somebody needs to speak to somebody, but they don't know the words to speak. Know that if you start speaking, it will come from your heart. There is a ending taking place there. I, I just closed my hand, which means there's a, a block that you need to block somebody off. Or you have a block. I'm going with block somebody off. Their energy is no longer fitting your frequency and your path and purpose. Their, the relationship has served its time. And it sucks to say it like that. And it sucks to see it like that. But that's truth. Facts don't have feelings. Open yourself up to the future that awaits you. I'm going to throw a couple um, world cards. The lovers. We might as well keep it out. Stuck. I don't use these ones too much anymore. Um, know that there is some, there, there was a few messages for people in there that there is some healing that needs to take place there. If you want to connect with me on, uh, Facebook awakening with me, we can attempt to do some psychic healings. It usually goes very well. So know that that's an option for you. Some emotions. One more, please. Uh, planetary alignments that's going to help us move forward. 